knowledge with the story you'll see only on Two Lauren. Well, Joe and Erica, the couple says they know crime comes with living in the city. That's why they always stay vigilant. That's also why they made a plan for if they were to ever get carjacked. Of course, they never thought that would actually happen. I threw my hands up and I said, you can have the car. I can get my daughter out of the car first. Chris Kula recalls the scariest 30 seconds of his life. This man with a gun demanded Kula's car, but Kula's two-year-old was inside. This blurry image shows the Ukrainian village dad making a run for it with his toddler in hand. That's right when mom opened the front door. Screaming at me to call 911, and I just started freaking out, thinking, oh my god, it happened, it happened. What we've been talking about and fearing forever just happened to us. The father and daughter were okay, but the SUV was gone. Police tracked it down several hours later with a seatbelt that fastens the car seat burned off. I think I just... Shocked, but not surprised. The couple actually planned for this exact situation when carjackings began to spike a few years ago. They agreed to give up their car if carjacked, but not to leave the vehicle without their little ones. When we had a kid... We knew that we had to at least think ahead, and we thought we were being paranoid. Now they're left considering a possible move from the city that they've called home for more than a decade, angry that their story isn't unusual anymore. I want our leaders of our city to know how this is impacting residents, longtime residents, families. Chicago's always had its problems. Every big city's had its problems. But never in my experience has it been this bad. You may have noticed from those pictures that this carjacking happened in broad daylight. It was around 4 o'clock on Tuesday here in the Ukrainian village area. At this time, no suspects are in custody. Reporting live in the Ukrainian village, I'm Laura Victory, CBS 2 News. That is terrifying. Laura, thank you. First thing I want to say, shout out to that couple for discussing the, um, what majority don't usually want to discuss. You know, living in reality. You know, so many motherfuckers be like, oh, that ain't gonna happen to me, or I don't wanna talk about that. And then they end up in a situation like that and they don't know what the fuck to do or where to start at at. Start, start at at all because they sitting here living in this false ass reality of, oh, I don't wanna talk about nothing bad. I don't, I don't wanna imagine that you better. Cause look at them training and discussing that. He was able to make sure, guess what? He secured his child and they still got their life. You can have that car. Motherfucker can get another car, but you can't get another life and you can't get it. I mean, you get another child, but what type of heartless ass shit is that? You get what I mean? So that's one thing I do want to, you know, get kudos to. Another thing is, though, petty ass criminals, man. Stop stealing motherfuckers' cars. And especially. Stop fucking with motherfuckers that got their kid. If you instantly see a motherfucker with their kid, you supposed to abort mission, man. What the fuck wrong with you niggas, for real? Y'all weird as hell out here, man.